Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Review Flex. So, it looks like we have some breaking news. It looks like Caitlin Dever has officially been cast as Abby in the upcoming season two of The Last of Us. You know there's going to be a lot of thoughts, comments, and opinions regarding this actress and the role of Abby when it comes to The Last of Us season two. So guys, if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the movie and streaming news we have going on on this channel. And with that down, we're going to be jumping into the Hollywood Reporter article, Caitlin Dever officially cast in The Last of Us Season 2 as Abby. The No One Will Save You star has joined the acclaimed HBO hit in a pivotal role from the game. So yeah, this has been a question that's been on fans' minds for quite some time as to who they're going to cast as Abby in The Last of Us Season 2. Obviously, Abby in the games, she has quite a striking appearance. She's a very big character. You know, she's got big muscles. Um, she's a very jacked character, you know, especially for a female. And, um, you know, finding an actress to kind of fit that physique that Abby has um, is quite important to a lot of fans. And the fact that Caitlin Dever, obviously, she's quite um, smaller in size and stature compared to what Abby is in the games. So I think a lot of people are going to take issue with this. But when it comes to her actual appearance um, of having these big muscles in the game, is it really all that important to the actual story and the character arc? Some people would say yes, some people would disagree. You know there's going to be a lot of um, conversations about this online. But with that down anyway, let's dive in and uh, read what this article has to say about this casting. It's official, Caitlin Dever has joined the second season of HBO's The Last of Us. The No One Will Save You and The Last Man Standing star has been cast in the role of Abby, a pivotal character in the PlayStation game upon which the post-apocalyptic drama series is based. So the character description, Abby is a skilled soldier whose black and white view of the world is challenged as she seeks vengeance for those she loved. Deva has had previous connections to the show, as the game's fans lobbied for years to get her to play the starring role of Ellie, which obviously went to Bella Ramsey. Given Deva's striking resemblance to Ellie character in the game, the 27-year-old reportedly auditioned for the role, but producers wanted a younger actor for the part, Ramsey is 20. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of people that say, you know, um, Caitlin Dever looks more like Ellie than what Bella Ramsey does. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, Bella Ramsey has the talent. She's absolutely incredible when it came to her acting in the show. She pulled off the Ellie character amazingly well. A lot of people were kind of not so hot on Bella Ramsey playing Ellie when it first came to the casting. But um, I think people grew on it as they watched the show. And um, as I say, Bella Ramsey as Ellie is absolutely incredible. She pulls off that character so well. And um, yeah, she does the character justice. But um, this casting of Caitlin Dever as Abby is going to raise a lot of eyebrows. You know, a lot of people are going to be very skeptical appearance wise because the actress is a lot smaller than what Abby looks like, as I say. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people are going to take issue with that. But um, we'll have to see how it shakes out. If she can pull off the character in an emotionally and kind of deep way like they do in the games, then I think a lot of people can get past the appearance issues. But let's keep reading. So our casting process for season two has been identical to season one. We look for world-class actors who embody the souls of the characters in the source material, said showrunners Craig Mason and Neil Druckmann in a joint statement. Nothing matters more than talent, and we're thrilled to have an acclaimed uh, performer like Caitlin join Pedro Pascal, Bella, and the rest of the family. So uh, nothing more, nothing matters more than talent. So from that, I'm gleaming that they're saying obviously talent, um, you know, is is um more important than the appearance wise of the character and um that's kind of what i'm gleaming from this small sentence here and um i guess they're right to a certain point you know it's better to have talent rather than the characters look identical identical to what's in the game um but as i say we'll have to see how it shakes out we'll have to see how fans go with it because there's going to be a lot of comments and um you know conversation about the appearance of this actress when it comes to her playing abby so The Last of Us Season 2 is expected to start production in the spring and will return to HBO in 2025. So we've still got a long time to wait, guys, until we get Season 2. The show was nominated for 24 Emmys and has already won 8 in the creative arts categories. 24 Emmys, that's absolutely astounding. Including Nick Offerman for his guest actor role in the show's acclaimed third episode and Storm Reid as guest actress. The show also picked up Emmys for picture editing, sound editing, sound mixing, main title design, Visual effects and prosthetic makeup. Stars Ramsey and Pascal are among the nominees in categories, whose winners will be announced during the January 15th primetime ceremony on Fox. So yeah, obviously it's getting all of the kind of um, acclamations when it comes to Emmys and stuff like that. And um, it's well deserved because the show itself was absolutely incredible. One of the best things that's been on TV in years. And like I say, 
there's going to be a lot of uh, discourse, discussion, thoughts, comments, and opinions around this actress and um, her ability to be able to play Abby um, when it comes to her talent and her looks, um, you know, playing Abby uh, in the last of our season two. But let's go over to Instagram quickly and read some online community responses to this news. And let's get a general kind of overview of what people are saying um, when it comes to this casting choice. So, landing over here on Instagram, we have a post from Geek News, and uh, the caption reads, Originally, fans were keen on Caitlin Dever playing Ellie, noting the resemblance. Interestingly, I read that she even auditioned for the role, but the decision makers opted for someone younger. Regardless, Dever is an outstanding actress, and I can't wait to see her transformation. The Last of Us is a special show. The first season was amazing. What do you think of this casting? So, let's go down and read some of these comments, because this is going to be really interesting as to what people have to say about this. So, I uh, definitely agree uh, that she should have been Ellie. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to have that sentiment. I mean, just looking at her face here, it sort of screams the image of Ellie when you think of the games. it really She really does look very similar to Ellie. Um, she about to get ripped, uh, and the acting will be incredible. I can't wait. Is she about to get ripped? <laughs> a lot of people think that she's going to put muscle on to look like Abby. I don't think that's going to happen somehow. I don't think she has the frame. Like, she's quite a small um, female when it comes in regards to what Abby looks like. And I can't see her putting on the amount of muscle that Abby has. Um, so, let's go. Um, bruh, how are you going to cast where... How are you going to cast where Abby looks like Ellie and Ellie looks like Abby? <laughs> I guess Bella Ramsey looks more like Abby than um, Caitlin Dever does. And uh, Caitlin Dever looks more like Abby than Bella Ramsey does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do get that to a point. That is quite funny how that worked out. Um, way too small. Uh, she should have been Ellie. This is the thing. It's like, will people be able to get over the fact that, you know, her appearance isn't going to look like Abby, but maybe her act and talent will win out? If she can play the role of Abby, even though she doesn't look like Abby when it comes to her size, um, you know, and stature of Abby, if, if her talent wins out and she can give the emotional depth in the story and the character arc that Abby deserves, you know, that she gets in the game, then um, will people be able to look over the appearance issue? Um, this is going to be the big question going forward. Um, she's a great actress. Excited for this. Uh, she should have been Ellie. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of sentiment of a lot of people. So uh, time to set up a bed and uh, kitchen in the weight room. <laughs> time to go to work. <laughs> yeah, so I think a lot of people are expecting her to bulk up for the role whether that's going to happen or not. Um, the girl's supposed to be playing Ellie. Um, awesome. Can't wait to not give a shit. <laughs> Can't wait to not care. I feel bad for her. She's going to get so many death threats from stupid people. Death threats? I don't think she's going to get death threats, surely. Um, they better put fake arms on her. <laughs> what, they're going to CGI like big muscle arms onto her? That looks so weird. Um, what the fuck? She looks exactly like Ellie. She looks more like Ellie. Only way this works is if she gains muscle for the role. Um, she's crying because she doesn't want the role. <laughs> what? If she doesn't want the role, why would she have auditioned for it? Um, when I watched the Alien movie on Hulu, I kept thinking about how small this girl was and she's going to play Abby. Lol. Um, I was hoping that she would uh, play Abby. Uh, I was hoping uh, she would play Ellie, sorry. I think she'll be good as Abby as well. Yeah, I mean, for me, I was hoping they would cast someone with the same appearance as Abby. Um, you know, the same stature and the same muscle build. But um, at the end of the day, I think I can look past it. If she's going to do a great performance as the Abby character, I think I can look look past it. But I think seeing her on screen as Abby for the first time is going to be a bit jarring, knowing that she doesn't look anything like the Abby character from the PlayStation game. But um, I think after a couple of episodes, once you get used to her playing the Abby character, I think the appearance issue will kind of fall to the wayside. And um, I think a lot of people will kind of get over it. Okay, but Abby is jailhouse jacked. Um, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to see Abby again, and it's live action. Um, she's somewhere getting swole right now. <laughs> she's like proper, like she's in the gym right now, like doing like 150 pound, um, you know, like push ups and squats and like all kinds of crazy shit. Um, <laughs> just trying to get jacked. Well, now I know the face of my enemy. Poor woman. Is she playing Abby at the end of The Last of Us Two when she lost all of her weight? Um. We'll read a few more here, guys. I just wanted to get a rough overview of these kind of comments. Girl going to be hated on for no reason. Yeah, unfortunately, I think there is going to be a certain degree of backlash because of the appearance issue. Um, I really hope that people don't go forward with this toxic fandom and start, you know, saying stupid things and hurtful things and being nasty to this actress. 
I really hope that's not the case. Um, she was great in No One Will Save You. I liked the casting. That film was okay. I think she was good in the film, but the film wasn't anything like I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, she was good in the film, but I didn't enjoy the film that much. Um, Call in the Rock, we've got to get her jacked. She's about to have a crazy workout routine. I think we'll end it there. But yeah, so there's a lot of people saying that she should have been cast as Ellie, which she originally obviously auditioned for. And um, a lot of people are saying, you know, she needs to get jacked for the role. But um, only time will tell if fans can overlook the appearance issue, as I keep saying. And um, we'll have to see how that all shakes out in due course. Um, as this news goes wide over the next couple of days, we'll have to see how the audience and the fan discourse goes on social media. And we'll have to see what kind of um, the prevailing opinion of the, um, you know, the fan base is going to be. But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this news. What do you think about this casting? Do you think it's good casting, bad casting? Can you get over the issue of the appearance not being the same as what she is in the PlayStation game? And uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting couple of days, as I say, reading the kind of discourse surrounding this news. But guys, like I say, can't look, um, can't wait to hear your thoughts, comments, and opinions. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.